Hey guys, Sunny here. Um, it's uh, December the 15th, Tuesday, and uh, we are creating natural gas today, as always. So, you know, I'm still holding my shares from yesterday. I thought I had more shares than this. Okay. Uh, 1140 shares. Let's check when it was sold. Alright. So yeah, um, you yeah, know I'm still uh, at loss on my position that I took on Friday. Uh, yesterday was yesterday was pretty bad and I made some bad mistakes. Um, but uh, you know, as of today, it looks like uh, if you look at uh, the 20-day, one-hour chart and uh, 180-day, four-hour chart, you can see um, you know uh, on special 180-day chart. It's like already MSCD has already crossed over, and uh, there might be some fluctuation up and down. But as you can see, uh, it's near the EMA line. You know, so you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm on the short side. You know, I'm like pretty sure that uh, from here the stock will go down. So that's why I am just keep I'm just gonna keep holding my 140 shares, <coughs> 1140 shares. Um, so let's see how things go today. You know, as you can see, you know, there's weakness in, uh, in natural gas. You know, was, the price is like compared relatively high. You know, it was at uh, 2.7 yesterday. It approached 2.7 yesterday. Uh, 2.711 was the high yesterday. Um, yeah, you know, in my opinion, that's on the high side. But you know, like there are some weather reports uh, that are saying that there's going to be a cold chill, so that might uh, prop up the prices for natural gas. Um, you know, but I I don't think it's gonna be for long. You know, this weather pattern can change anytime. You know, it's not like weather is not an exact science, so things can change. Um, but uh, as of now, you know. Uh, I would say the prices are on the high side. So let's do some uh, analysis. Maybe we see some resistance slash support around this area. It could be a little bit up, a little bit down. But in general, in this area, I could have, I could have made this at this line. But uh, yeah, this this general area. Uh, MACD is uh, turning around on one minute chart. Yeah, you know, uh, each time it drops, you know, I'm just waiting for it to reach, uh, you know, at least above <coughs> the price I paid, you know, it's like 47.33 uh, for cold. But as you can see, earlier at 9 a.m., it, it reached at uh, 47.15, and I was pretty sure that it was going to go up, but it ended up, going, it ended up turning around. And yeah, like um, early morning hours, just there's just no indication, you know. Like, as you can see, you know, like uh, it was making lower lows, you know, MSCD was making lower lows. Uh, I thought it would just push a little bit more down, but all of a sudden it changed direction and went the other way. So, let's see, yeah, uh, yeah, I need to focus, uh, focus on what it's doing. 
and I, I, have, I have to focus on like multiple charts uh, five minute chart one minute chart one hour chart you know to make sense of uh, what's going on Uh, it looks like uh, MSCD is turning around on one minute chart, on five minute chart, it's still going up. But, um, you know, for the day, uh, it's on the high side. So, yeah, it could very well turn around. Twenty-one day chart, you know, it looks like it's uh, turning back up, but that's how it looked like yesterday. Also, uh, then it continued to come back down. However, on uh, on twenty-one day one hour chart, twenty-one day one hour chart, it looks like it's turning around. It hasn't turned completely. It's uh, basically pointing sideways. But on hundred day chart, um, the MACD. He's like already crossing over uh, to the down to, to the downward direction. So uh, that is a good indication that uh, natural gas prices will uh, will fall. We don't know the estimated storage report yet, but you know like. Wednesday night, Thursday morning, uh, we will know for sure. Uh, this is before uh, the report, EIA report on Thursday. They like estimates that are published on online. So I'll keep an eye for that.
I'm gonna try to like focus as much as possible today. You know, sometimes I get distracted. Um, to see what exactly going on. Uh, you know, like you have to focus uh, all the time. You know, it's, it's hard, but that what that's what needs to be done. You know, uh, 21 day chart. Uh, it's the prices had come below the 50 day EMA, and as of now, it's like keeping below the EMA line. So, uh, you know, that that indicates uh, the prices are, are on uh, downward, downward direction. You now, we have to see if it. Uh, goes above the EMA, EMA line It's like middle of the month, so we are like uh, about to switch over to the February month futures. So the ticker for February month is slash NGG21. I would jump to the upper price channel. Yeah, I think yeah, the natural gas is a little bit bullish because of the because of the weather report. Again, you know, I just uh, gonna see you know set off a buying frenzy. And uh, yeah, it'll be a good buying opportunity.
Let's see, I'm for the bar at 45, 42. Let's see if it gets filled. You know, I don't expect it to, but let's just see. Alright, it's still keeping above the EMA line. But the MSCD has already crossed over. And I'm finding charges on the high side. So, you know, like all these factors, uh, yeah, all right, so it's come below uh, the EMA line. So I was saying all these factors combined to say that, you know, uh, prices will fall. But I'm looking at one minute and five minute chart, so this is like a near term.
still keeping below the EMA line which is good and 5 minutes short it's at the EMA line so let's see if it bounces or continues to go down and also on 5 minutes short um, the EMA is turning around so yeah all these indicate that and the price is going to fall in the near future but you know we also have to know that there is a metal up here you know that could act as resistance then we have this green SMA line. This green SMA line has been acting as resistance all morning. Yeah, since uh, about 2 a.m. So that would act as a support now. Looks like on a 5 minute chart it uh, right to bounce off of the EMA It looks like it bounced off the EMA on the 5 minute chart. In 5 minute chart, uh, the MACD still seems to be turning around. Um, on 1 minute chart, it uh, looks like it's turning up. So it looks like it will go up a bit before it comes down. So let's see. Twenty one day one hour chart still looking like uh, prices will go down. Uh, Hundred eighty day four hour chart MACD has crossed over and looks like it's more likely that the prices will go down. Yeah, 
and also you know if you look at uh, 21 day chart it's made it's made lower lows than yesterday you know, so that's like a good indication where the prices are heading Mm -hmm. Looks like it uh, jumped up. And it's at like a previous uh, highs of a few minutes ago. There seems to be some resistance here. Let me cancel this order and buy another. C four five dot five five. Four five dot five zero. Right, four five four five. Right, got filled. Hmm. Uh, this jump came out of nowhere. Oh, look at that it's uh, almost uh, touching the upper view up Right, so on now on both uh, one minute chart and five minute chart, you know the prices are in overbought area. So let's see.
Yeah, let's see if it's gonna turn around. It looks like it's bouncing from the EMI line. It's, yeah, it's back to almost uh, 2.7. It's at 2.669. Right, it looks like 
Another minute chart the MACD is turning around it's about to cross over and then let's see if on one minute chart the prices go below the EMA line in 5 minute chart uh, the RSI indicates overbought Alright, the EMA line itself is turning around and looks like the prices are going below. MACD has already almost crossed over. Yeah, that jump came out of nowhere, so I think you know the prices will adjust. just you know it's rebounding or not just can't make up its mind all right so now it's below the ema and the ema line itself is uh, turning around mscd has crossed over rsi is on the way on five minute chart uh, the mscd is like curling around it hasn't turned around yet it's uh, curling right now You know, the weather report says it's going to be chilly but you know the weather changes frequently uh, sorry the weather report changes frequently you know there is no specific uh, uh, you know you, you know when they make uh, the weather models there is no specific pattern you know like specific course of uh, weather they have multiple options they call it the spaghetti models so they basically predict all the possible outcomes from today so you know like uh, they have this uh, weather reporting uh, service but you know the weather changes on a daily basis so today it's indicating cold tomorrow it could come out and say oh the weather pattern has changed now it's going to be warmer so that's something uh, uh, to consider about consider about when trading uh, natural gas As of last week, as of last week Friday, uh, they were predicting very low usage of gas. But uh, from Monday, they're projecting extremely high usage of gas. So I mean, you know, uh, it just changed over the over the weekend.
Well, I don't have to jump back to the upper view up. It looks like all the bulls came out of nowhere. Yeah, since the market opened, it's been like making higher highs. Alright, both 1 minute chart and 5 minute chart are indicating overbought conditions.
Uh, let's see if it goes below the EMA line. Yeah, as of now, I have uh, 190 shares for cold, and I'm down in my position. Eight hundred twenty-five dollar today, but I'm I've had these shares since Friday, so I think I'm overall I'm on down on my position about two thousand dollars. Well, it's quite bullish today. I mean, yeah, that came out of nowhere. Uh, this morning it was like down, and I was thinking it will continue to go down. But at 9 a.m., like right at market open, it changed directions. Let's see if it uh, continues, continues to go down. Yeah, I would buy some more, but uh, I'm like, uh, I'm like fully invested, which I don't recommend. You know, I have only eight dollars available to to buy in my account. You know, I don't recommend this. You know, I was willing to pay the price so that's why I like fully loaded up and on Friday I was like pretty sure that uh, you know the weather hadn't uh, the weather reports were still indicating mild weather so I was pretty sure on Monday uh, the prices will uh, come down but exactly the opposite happened you know so that's why it's important to have some sort of risk management 
um, you know, like as of now, I'm like fully invested. I can't buy anymore. So, you know, like uh, that's uh, that's a good lesson for me. Yeah, not to myself. You know, like no matter how sure I am, I still shouldn't like fully invest. You know, ideally, I shouldn't be invested more than. 50% of my account size if you are a beginner trader I would recommend doing uh, you know You know, there are like a lot of moving parts, you know, like when you trade, you know, this, there is this indicator, that indicator, you know, all these things combine to uh, move the price. I mean, it's hard to keep everything in your head all the time. That's why, you know, it takes all the focus. Alright guys, let's see how it goes uh, late uh, rest of the day. I will update uh, in the evening. You know, I've been live streaming for over an hour, so I'm just gonna take a break and uh, you know have some more coffee. You know, and take care of other things. All right, good luck to you if you are trading natural gas today. I will catch up with you in the evening. Take care and have a good rest of the day. Bye.